Hi, I'm Leah Mumford. I'm a local behavior analyst here in the Lower Mainland, and I would like to nominate the Autism Support Network for the Regional Community Impact Award for the Lower Mainland for the BC Autism Awards. I've nominated the Autism Support Network because of their tremendous support and advocacy work on behalf of children and their families living with autism here. They have given so many volunteer hours and so much of their emotional energy to helping other families and I have referred personally so many families to receive support and help from this wonderful organization. I know that if they receive this award that they will continue to put the funds towards supporting even more families and helping more children living with autism here in BC. Good luck Autism Support Network. Hi, my name is Peter Flosenko, and I'm nominating Joanne Huft of the Square Peg Society for the Regional Community Impact Award for the Lower Mainland in the 2020 BC Autism Awards. The beneficiaries of this award would be adults with autism between the ages of 20 and 35 who are living at home but lack some of the support systems needed for independent living. Joette, along with their dedicated volunteers, have reached out to professionals in the area of post-secondary education, employment, housing, mental health, and life social skills to address the challenges facing these young adults. Joette has been the driving force to bring together families and develop suitable education programs for young adults with autism with the help of the Square Peg Society. Thank you. My name is Dawn Perot. I have nominated my very dear friend Suzanne Perot for the Regional Community Impact Award for the Lower Mainland in the 2020 BC Autism Awards. Suzanne is an elected school board trustee who uses her position to assist families in getting the education that every child deserves, one of inclusion, acceptance, and equality. Suzanne has done many talks with school staff, including a TED Talk, enlightening them on how it feels to be in the vulnerable position of a parent interacting with school staff in advocating for their child. She also works as a counsellor in her private practice, assisting families in their personal struggles and wellness, particularly around advocating for their children's rights to a fair and equitable education within the public school system. Suzanne is a fierce advocate within the community, promoting inclusion for children and families in the school system in particular. Through her passion, determination, positivity, and genuine caring nature, she is an inspiration. She never backs down when the well-being of a child or family is at stake, and she is someone who wakes in the morning and truly lives her passion, which is to live in a world where every child has a voice and all children are included. <laughs>